Hey guys, I'm John Engel with the 82nd Training Wing Public Affairs Office and we're introducing a new video series today called John on the Job. What's that, you might ask? Well, I'm going to go out to a bunch of different training squadrons on base, whether it's technical or pilot training, as well as some of the support agencies that it takes to help get that mission moving forward. So the Air Force sends about half of its basic training graduates to Shepard Air Force Base so they can learn their next set of skills. And what better way to start off this new series than by going to the place that leads the way, and that's our civil engineers. So here at the 366th Training Squadron, we're going to go find out what our Plumbing Apprentice School students learn so they can go on and do great things for our service. Come with me. So we're here with Staff Sergeant Myron Brown. He's an instructor here at the 366 Training Squadron. And Sergeant Brown, tell us what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to get a chance to go into our booths up here. We're going to be finding troubleshoots and pretty much that's what it is. Any kind of breaks that we have in our water lines, that's what we're going to try and ID and that's what we're going to fix. Okay. So what are, what are the students learning as they go through this process? So as they go through the process, it's pretty much troubleshooting, uh, getting a chance to figure out what happens in the event of a broken line? How do you respond to that under pressure? Uh, do you fight? Do you freeze? Do you, what do you do in, the, in your response? Our objective is to try and save as many assets as we possibly can in the event that we have a, a water break or something like that. And that's pretty much the process of what we're gonna to do today. The objective is once we get in here, we're going to, before we put the water on, we're gonna try and use these rags, wrap around anything that might have any cuts or any sprays or anything like that and we're going to give it a nice little knot tie. Okay. And we're just going to tie it just like that. Okay. And then that's pretty much our ID for where all of our issues are going to be at. Okay. And then let's come in. All right. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. So what's going to happen as soon as we cut this on, if we see any other sprays down here, we're going to try and identify it, wrap it around, whatever we missed, and then we're going to pop up top and ID what's, what's going on up there. Okay. All right. Here's the moment of truth. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Well, there's that there's one. There's one. There's one right here. There's one there. So do we wrap around this? It's upstairs. That one's going to be upstairs. Okay. I don't see any other leaks other than what's here. So we'll go upstairs and see what's going on up top. All right. So this isn't coming from this. It's just pull, it's pulling It's coming down from downstairs. From the That's the funny thing with water is water is not where you see it. It's, it's probably draining from somewhere else. OK. Just like this? Yes, sir. Path of least resistance. All right. All right. We'll pop out of here and we'll go up top and see what's going on. I think the only leak that we can see from, a, from, a, from right now is just this copper line that's, that's cut right here. OK. And that's pretty much it. So once you figure out where all your leaks are, that's where you kill the water so we're not wasting water. And that's where we come in and that's where the airmen would definitely okay. get with their soldier, sailor, or, 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 or airmen. And they'd repair this. So I need to go down and turn off the water Let's now. do it. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, man. All right. And we're getting that same valve. All right. Yes, sir. And just like that, we have figured out exactly what's going on. We found our brakes. We found right. our drain lines that are leaking or not put together with these no-help couplings. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, there's a lot that goes into even just basic plumbing. And so far, what Sergeant Brown and I did was identify potential uh, areas on the piping where there could be a leak, uh, mark them with a red towel, and then uh, go turn the water on and find out what happens. And as you saw, we found where the leaks were and where the water was, and I got wet. So now we're going to go up and try to uh, figure out how we can repair some of these and, and learn a little bit more about what students here in the Plumbing Schoolhouse do day to day. Let's go. So when you get students here, uh, how many of them come in and like, yeah, I did apprentice work for a summer or, or had some sort of experience doing plumbing? And how many come in and they're like, yeah, I know how to flush a toilet and turn right. a faucet on and that's it. How, what's the, the, the gap as far as experience goes with students? So you get a good, a good mix. There's some that have been plumbing, you know, their whole life uh, when they were civilians. And then you have those that they just graduated high school and they're coming here. 
and have not a clue as to what CE even is. Um, so you get that good mixture, and uh, that's where, as instructors, it's our, our, it's our job to kind of teach them and, and coax them along. For those who know exactly what to do, it's, it's their job to kind of slow it down and kind of work with the ones that don't know so they can kind of teach them what maybe we're, in, we're instructing them and they might not understand what we're saying. Uh, but that's where we try to lean on the students as well to help teach the students as well. All right. So that'll do it this, for this episode of John on the Job. Yes, indeed. Sergeant Brown, thank you very much for hey, showing us what you guys do. Everybody wants to turn the faucet on and That's expect it. the water to run and flush the toilet and expect it to go away. Yes, sir. So thank you for showing us this today. I appreciate it. No problem it. at all. Definitely. All right. We'll see you next time. Yes, sir.